Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is all you can see the top left corner, October 2021, 32 variant question number eight. So by first expanding this, is a show this connection. So what is method? Normally we have our squaring identity formula. What is a squaring identity formula as we use? So we write first term square plus two into first term, second term plus second term square. I mean, this A will come, this two brackets. Look, I'm writing. And B will go next two brackets like this. So same situation I'm going to apply here. So let's start. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Cos square theta plus sine square theta, power two. According to rule, first term square plus two into first term into second term plus second term square. Okay, so this will come where in first two brackets, as you can see on the top, sine square theta. Here, here even, sine square theta. And sorry, 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 I should write order. Okay, no problem, order change, even no issue at all. Anyway, so this cos square will come in first two brackets, so cos square theta, cos square theta. This sine square will come in next two brackets, so sine square theta, sine square theta. Okay, student, this is a two twos of four, so this becomes cos four theta. And here I'm writing, you know, three into two and two into three, both are six. So if you write in different order in multiply, no problem. You write sine before, cos later, so no issue at all. So two sine square theta and cos square theta, you can write. What is the reason? You will come to know later on. Okay. Uh, and then this is two to the four, I get sine four theta. And this is whole, you know, the basic formula, you know, I'm writing the top sine square theta plus cos square theta is always one with a plus sign only and with the power two only, not the power four. So this thing I replaced by one. So here I got one. So here I got it. You can see this one is visible here. And this cos four visible, this sine four visible. So this I have to convert this format and game is over. So let's see how we can get it, how we can get this one. So first of all, I do one favor. What is favor? So, you know, student, this whole thing I will bring here. You ask why, what is the logic behind? Why you bring on the other side? Look, I try to convince from here and this rest two values will stay right hand side, will not change, will not go anywhere. Hmm. Now try to match. Is this matching? Correct matching. This one matching, matching. This, this is close to matching. But only problem is that we have uh, this whole thing and I have to convert in this format. So let's try. If you look at carefully, uh, I have a sine square, cos square. Okay. He has sine double skip. So whenever you confuse what to do, I tell you in the best technique, this I need from here. So do one favor. This copy here, rough work and don't show to examiner. Okay. Even you show examiner, he will not mind. So this you copy here, done. I will try I try to disconvert in this format. Let's see, have as it is, you know, student, this power two on the top I'm writing and sine double theta I'm copying in the bracket. This writing style or this writing style, same. If you remember students, this double angle formula, if you expand it, you get two sine theta and cos theta. All of you familiar because rule is what? Rule is what? Sine double theta, okay, is equal to two sine theta cos theta. You know the basic root criteria. This half angle comes here and half angle comes here. So this I removed and I copy these three things here. I think this idea is very, very clear what I explained till here. Okay, now um, if it, but this power two still on the top. Okay, so this power two, half as it is, power two give you four, Power two of sine give you sine squared theta. Power two of cos give you cos squared theta. And if this two four cancel out, I got a two sine squared theta and cos squared theta. If you concentrate, this is matching, oh, 100% matching. Actually, this I need. So I will go backwards and write in this order. So this is available? Yes, available, sir. So you can say, okay, can I say this two can work? Convert into half one or two, half of four. Yes, I can say half of four. Okay, half of four, or I can write it here, half of four. So look here, student, I just tell you how I know it. 
And this right hand side, no change at all. Right hand side, no change at all. Okay. I repeat, this half I replace by four by two or half of four. These three terms I will merge inside. You can see one minus half outside. And these three terms I can merge and write two sine theta cos theta and power two common common up from here because this four is two square. And I think up till here, student, you're understanding what is going on. So this two sine theta cos theta convert into sine double theta. So here I'm writing this three values turn to be sine double theta. This two power you copy on the whole like this or you write only on sign, no issue at all. This is done. And if you look at carefully, we have achieved our answer. Wait a minute, let me show you. So see please, is this matching? Answer is yes. Is this one matching? Yes. Is this whole matching? Answer is yes. So this is a part, uh, you can leave this or you can um, erase it. So I think so, no problem at all. And this is my actual way of, and I can say that, proved. So I have done this first part, three marks done, okay? Now next part is uh, is connecting with that. Okay, through this part. But you know how I can say that, attentive please? Mm, look, 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 look. Uh, this formula I'm writing it now here. Hold on, uh, this formula, okay? So let's copy paste this formula. And inshallah, you'll come to know why I'm copying and why I'm pasting here. So this I'm pasting here. Done. Okay. So this is target to solve. Read a statement, please. Solve this equation till one to zero to 180 degree. Is this matching or not matching? Correct. Matching. Is this equal to this or not? Correct. Can I remove this whole thing and copy this whole thing here? Yes. I write here by part A. There's a hint of that by using the part A answer. This is a part A answer. And I'm removing this whole thing which is matching and I'm copying the whole thing here. So let's start. One minus half. Now you ask one question. So why you are converting this? Sir? What is the logic behind? Logic is behind here. We have a two things, sign and cause. We cannot solve question. Either you have only sign, we can solve question. Either you have only cause, we can solve question. But if both come together, addings format, we can't solve the question. Very hard. So uh, look at here. And what is the beauty of this part? These two things we have together, but here we have only one thing. So I converted this into this format. I have only sign now. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now I will try to make this subject. How to make a subject? So this whole thing will go here. Nine, five by nine will come this side. So one minus five over nine equals to half of sine squared two theta, done. Now this is a nine minus minus one nine. So we've got a four over nine equals to half times two sine squared two theta. Two multiplies there, I get a sine squared two theta is equal to eight by nine. Now to, how to remove the root square root of both sides, sine double theta, equal to root of the whole and plus minus must be there. Okay, power two gone. Now student, I will make a partition here and one time plus and one time minus, I will use it. So sine double theta is equals to eight by nine root with a positive value and sine double theta is equals to eight over nine with a negative sign. I believe up till here clear. And keep your eye, your answer must be in first two quadrants because you know it very well, zero to 180. So my answer here and here, okay. And here and here, not okay. I should not take this answer. So let's start. Before I start cast property, if you recall, C, A, S, T, cast. C for cause, A for all, S for sine, T for 10. If you look at, because this question is sign only, so sign here, all positive, sign positive. So it means I have sign positive in this quadrant and this quadrant, clear. Sign positive, sign positive. Let me write sign positive. Although no need to write this, but anyway. So let's talk about second cross, okay? And now because we talk about negative, so here tan and cos positive, but what about sign? In both quadrant, sign negative. So I will make here, Sign negative here, sign negative. So student, what I'm going to do, this equation I'm copying from here and bring it here. 
And this diagram I'm copying from here, I bring it here. I believe the idea is very clear now. And this I'm erasing now. So let's try to solve it. Bismillah uh, rahim So sign positive is very clear. I'm just erasing this, uh, this, all these things. No need of these signs. Okay. Now students get ready. First of all, uh, you know, I will take this two theta as a alpha. This alpha will become this thing. Okay. Even this also become alpha. Okay. So sine will go on the other end, become sine inverse of root eight by nine. Same story here, but you will not include negative sign. The rule of the topic. Okay, your rule of topic. Sine inverse root eight by nine. Okay, now I'm typing in calculator and hold on. If I type in calculator, so what is this one? So sine inverse and root eight divided by nine. And my answer is coming alpha is equal to 70.5. Okay, here alpha also 70.5. So this angle, I will write line and x-axis, line and x-axis. Again, line and x-axis, line and x-axis. This is a fixed criteria. So I am writing here 70.5. I'm writing here 70.5. I am writing here 70.5. I'm writing here 70.5. Okay. You can see that, sir, why are you choosing these two values? This is, sir, out of range. Because you said before, sir, these two values are out of range. So, But make sure it's one degree. And one interesting part we have here. What is that? Bring two alpha back in the, two, sorry, bring this two theta back. Okay, so I write two theta afterwards. What is my first answer, student? Let's start. And uh, first answer starting from here and stop this much. Okay, I repeat. What is this? 180. What is this? 70.5. So I can say here 180 plus 70.5. And what about this? Uh, 360 minus 70.5. 360 minus 70.5. And this two will divide this, and this two will divide this. Then we come to know which answer is in coming range and which answer in is not coming in range. So I believe the answer is very clear. Here I'm getting 109.5 degree, which is in range. Whereas if I divide this one, let me check what else answered. So 360 minus 70.5 and divided by two. And I'm getting answer from here 144. I think it's also coming range. Let me recheck once again. Sorry for that, students. 360 minus, hold on. Sir, first 360 one is 120. Okay, okay. I'll check once again. I'll check one again. Thank you. I'll check once again. Uh, 180 plus 360 minus. Okay, this answer is coming. Uh, 360 minus 70.5 divided by 2 is 144.75, which is in the range. Let me check this answer. Hold on, hold on. Um, 180, uh, wait a minute, 180 plus 70.5 and divided by two. Yeah, thank you very much. This is a little correction here. And this is 125.3 degree. And both, okay, sorry, this is a three SF, it becoming eight. Because sorry, one DP, one DP. So this both are in the range. Why in the range? You can see there's well less than 180 degree. And look, before it was not in range, it looked like crossing the limit. When when divided by two, it came in range. Same value here. So this is a alpha, bring two alpha back. So two theta is equal to 70.5. How come? This is the first answer and second answer from here to here. So I'm writing is this is also 180 minus 70.5. Now I'm dividing two both equations, one by one. So let's see what answers turn to be 70.5 divided by two. My first answer is Yes, student, there's a mis uh, misconnection of the internet anyway. And I think so. You got my point, student. So there's a first answer, the second answer. After having this both answers, divide by two for both values. And we have a one, two, three, four answers coming in the range. 
and all and that's it and question is completely